probably the biggest thing that came out of this project was the way we were able to track variables and other data through the different scenes. And that was mainly due to our programmers, both um, Cyrus and James. Uh, I'm not much of a programmer. I don't really know how their stuff works. I just see that it works. And to be quite honest, we wouldn't have a game if it wasn't for them putting all that together. When it came to actually creating the levels of Treasure Hunt, um, it wasn't just one guy that kind of sat down and thought everything. We just kind of got around the table. We discussed some mechanics and how they might actually fall in place for some levels. And then we got to drafting that. And then whoever was good at making levels would go to that. And that's basically how they came together. It wasn't just one guy getting all the ideas. We all at least had a hand in something. The intro level took um, a good deal of thought to actually put together because we had to introduce the player to all the things we'll be doing, interacting with the environment, pressing buttons or levers, uh, reading notes to figure out what they actually need to do to progress, and just get the basic feel for the game. So when putting that together, that's one of the things that was thought of and actually designed in the area. And it's on just a small boat, so it's all pretty self-contained and should be relatively straightforward for the player to actually get through. Initially, when we wanted the player to kind of interact with the world, what we'd have at first is just on the actual lever, we'd have a um, secondary collider box and set up to just kind of trigger if the player walked into it and you could touch it. And as we were going on with things we wanted to add to the game, we realized that really wasn't the best thing to actually do because it would just be difficult to create a bunch of things to interact with all close to each other and expect the player to know which one he's hitting. So from there, we had Cyrus go out and he created this nice raycast tool. And with that, we can just kind of have the player look to an object and if the raycast is hitting it, they're able to interact with it, press the button, pull the lever, or even pick up a notepad in their inventory. Um, it was a very useful tool to actually get implemented and that came very late in the development process. Honestly, um, when it came to picking who was going to be in the group to work on Treasure Hunt, I honestly wasn't aware of anybody really in the class. Um, I just looked to see what each of them could bring to the table, and fortunately, the three guys I got, Kai, James, and Cyrus, not only were they good at what they did, but they're also just really great people to work with. Um, they're all really chill, laid back. You really just kind of, it, it's not like um, some of the groups where you feel like you're going to have to do a lot of the work. Everybody was there. Everybody was willing to put in their um, fair share. and They were all very outgoing. One thing we looked for with um, programming the actual game and getting it all up and running was to um, try and see how much of the same or same-ish code in multiple different areas. So anything from like interacting with a button to 